A concrete house is a house whose primary structural element is concrete. Concrete houses have become really popular in the past several years. I'm George Fontana, I'm an architect in New York, owner of Fontana Architecture. I wanna share some of the things that I've learned after building five concrete houses in New York. Concrete is a material that's been used in construction for thousands of years. Normally, it's a structural material only and not necessarily left exposed. In the 1950s and 60s, it became popular to leave concrete exposed in what became known as brutalist architecture. This kind of faded away and now has come back the idea of leaving concrete exposed in the past 20 years has become really popular again. Today, it's a little different than it was done before. We're using much higher quality uh, architectural finishes in concrete, and it's being used in single family homes as well. I myself have built five concrete houses, and I wanna discuss some of the things that I've learned. So let's go through some pros and cons in building a concrete house. The pros, first is aesthetics. I think concrete is pretty cool, looks awesome. This is a great aesthetic for a house. I'm gonna put aesthetics in the cons section as well because some people hate it. A concrete house is not for everyone. Okay, only certain people are gonna really like this. It's a very specific look, so you have to decide uh, whether this is for you or not. There are also different quality and types of concrete, different ways you can use it. It doesn't have to be the entire house in concrete. Uh, there's lots of different options. Concrete allows for a lot of design flexibility. Uh, concrete is mixed, it is poured into forms. So if you can make a form, you can make any shape, as long as you can make the form. So you can make curved concrete, straight concrete, uh, any type of patterns can be done in the concrete as long as you can make form work in order to pour concrete into. Another advantage of concrete houses is that you can build sustainably and to passive house design standards. Concrete is not gonna be automatically sustainable. No construction system is automatically sustainable. It's the entire design of the house, the entire system, all the features put together that results in passive house or sustainable design. So you can certainly build sustainably with uh, concrete. The most important feature of sustainability is reducing energy costs, so you want to have uh, energy efficient design, uh, good insulation, airtight construction. But the second most important thing I always say about sustainability is that it should be built to last. Building a house twice is less sustainable than building it once. Okay, so concrete is a very durable construction. It's very fire resistant construction. These are great durability features for a long lasting house that'll be there forever that you can leave to your children and grandchildren. Okay, concrete is a common material. Uh, pretty much you can find it anywhere. There are some issues with architectural concrete and labor we'll talk about in the cons okay but it is generally common material um, concrete is good for high risk areas so I built my first concrete house in the flood zone in New York after Sandy a lot of houses were destroyed and we were looking for new ways to build houses uh, in the flood zone uh, to withstand floods and hurricanes. So we built several houses out of concrete and a few houses out of some other materials as well. Uh, and that's how we got started. Concrete is great for flood zones, great for hurricanes, great for extreme uh, conditions, but it also can be built anywhere. So you don't have to be in a high risk area to build with concrete. So the cons, uh, the negatives, in concrete house design, uh, we also have to discuss aesthetics. Some people hate the look of exposed concrete. They think it's uh, you know too rough or something. It is a more industrial look. It is a more uh, incredibly modern look. So that'll be uh, up to your individual taste. The biggest downfall on concrete construction is the cost. It is more expensive, okay? A normal house in the United States is built out of wood frame, what we call stick-built construction. Concrete houses will be more expensive than a stick-built house, okay? Stick-built houses, wood framing uh, construction is, uh, was designed in order to be affordable. It is not used because it's a great construction system. It is used because it is affordable, okay? Concrete is much higher quality construction, but it is also gonna bring a much higher price tag with it. That is a major concern when building a concrete house. All right, um, next, availability of labor. Uh, most contractors are gonna be able to work with concrete, but that doesn't mean they can do architectural finishes. It doesn't mean that they can do really beautiful concrete to be left exposed, okay? They're usually gonna be uh, familiar with using concrete structurally and then covering it with other materials. Well, if you wanna have exposed concrete, this is not the most normal uh, construction that they may not be familiar with, and that's something you have to take into consideration. 
All right. Um, also, not typical architectural details. Your architect may not know how to build a concrete house. Okay. Not every architect has. Very few probably have in the United States. All right. So these are non-typical architectural details, not typical construction details. Your entire team, uh, are they familiar with it? Can they adapt? Can they figure it out? That's the things that you want to take into consideration if you're planning to build a concrete house. There are different types of concrete homes, okay? So uh, you can do a poured in place concrete, okay? That's where you assemble formwork, whether it's uh, you know made out of wood or if you're using prefab panels like a DOCA system, okay? You assemble the formwork on the job site and you pour the concrete right in place. That's poured in place. That's most likely what you're gonna do if you're gonna build a concrete house. All the concrete houses that I've built were poured in place concrete. Uh, there's precast. This is going to be much more expensive. The advantage of precast is that you're building it in a shop, in a factory. Okay, there's a lot of precision, but it's got to be trucked out. Okay, it's got to be craned into place. This is going to be much more expensive uh, to use precast, but you'll have a lot higher quality control on the precast. GFRC is glass fiber reinforced concrete. These are uh, blocks that you can have made, custom blocks that can have all kinds of shapes and sizes and designs. Um, that can be uh, delivered to the job site and put in place as, as blocks, like bricks, if you wanted to have a GFRC facade or components of your home being uh, GFRC uh, precast elements. And then, of course, there's uh, faux finishes, okay? Uh, you're, you're not really going to see a lot of faux finishes on the exterior, uh, although there are some. They make uh, porcelain that looks like concrete. They make fiber cement that looks like concrete. There's kind of a liquid applied finishes, uh, kind of like stucco that, that can look like concrete with the proper craftsman applying it so uh, we've used faux finishes on interiors uh, you know but but it's not really something you're gonna see too much on the exterior but but it can it, you, you know it can be done if you're doing faux finishes it really isn't a concrete house it's just a, a normal house that's made to look like concrete then of course there's architectural concrete uh, where you can have uh, poured in place uh, you know uh, with a higher quality uh, finish. Um, you can polish concrete. Uh, you, this is most commonly done on floors. You don't see a lot of polished concrete walls, but you can polish. If it's concrete, you can polish it. Uh, but you know, normally uh, you, you'll see polished concrete floors. So I was on a construction site once for a concrete house that we were building in New York. Two guys are walking down the street uh, and they look at it and one of them says, that's so stupid. You can't insulate a concrete house. Well, of course you can insulate a concrete house. You can insulate anything. There's lots of different ways to insulate a concrete house. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, the four basic ideas for insulating a concrete house, and they all have to do with where you put the insulation and where you put the concrete. So it's really important to know if you want exposed concrete, where you're gonna want it. So you can have concrete on the outside, have concrete on the inside, you can have concrete in the middle, or you can have concrete on both sides. So if you want to have concrete on the outside, you pour a concrete wall and then on the inside you build an insulated wall. So your interior finish is something other than concrete. It can be sheetrock, whatever. But the outside is your concrete finish. All right, and then the insulation is on the inside. If you're doing concrete on the inside, okay, and you're gonna have insulation on the outside, then you'd use a system like EFIS, uh, Exterior Insulation Finishing Systems. You can build a concrete wall and you can put insulation on that wall and then have like a stucco finish or a fiber cement panel finish or really any material finish on the outside but your concrete will not be visible from the outside it would be visible from the inside and then you would have an interior concrete wall you can then use icf which is insulated concrete forms this gives you concrete in the middle and insulation on both sides what's the problem with this there's no exposed concrete if you're going to build a concrete house I would expose the concrete or at least expose it in certain areas. Of course, you may not like the, the aesthetic of concrete, but you like the idea of building with concrete for its uh, strength, durability, and uh, you know, uh, fire rating, then uh, this might be something you wanna take into consideration. I personally have never used ICF. Then the most expensive option is concrete on both sides, where you have concrete on the exterior of the house and concrete on the inside of the house. In this instance, you're gonna have to put your insulation down the middle. So you make your concrete forms wide enough to have two layers of concrete wall, and then they put rigid insulation down the middle of the form, and you pour it all at once time. Both sides of the wall, in this case, would be poured at one time. Uh, only one side of the wall actually has to be the structural wall, and the other side is really a veneer. So you can have one side thicker and one side thinner.
In my opinion, concrete houses are just about the coolest houses you can possibly design. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and leave comments below. Thank you for listening.